Boss won't replace light bulbs. I suddenly realized I actually have a story I can post here. Many moons ago I worked for someone selling books online. He bought high-end computers. But was notoriously cheap in other areas. For instance all the fire extinguishers were out of date and we had two portable heaters for the whole building. No central heating. One day he stopped replacing the light bulbs. This included the book room, which has one small blacked out window. One by one the lights went until I literally couldn't see anymore. His solution was to buy me a wind-up torch. Well this torch was loud and annoying when wound up. Every time he came into work and I needed to go into that room I would spend a few minutes winding up that torch. He tried to ask me to stop. But I'd point out that all he had to do was buy some light bulbs. Eventually he gave in. But not before I annoyed the hell out of him every time he set foot in the office. Because I'd always find myself a task that meant I needed to go in there. Another option is to switch the burnt out bulb with one from his office. After a while all of his bulbs will have somehow burned out. But all the rest are fine. That guy is a lawsuit waiting to happen. Fire extinguishers out of date? A wind-up flashlight? Lights are on but nobody's home? Doesn't apply here. Completely different metaphor. Wind-up torches are more expensive than light bulbs. What was he thinking? If you are in Sydney, I think I know the guy. The book industry isn't that big. It he sounds like the kind of boss that sneaks into local hotel conventions to steal pens for office supplies. Probably got the flashlight from a booth giving out promotional swag. Hold up. So this guy sells physical book stacks of flammable paper and cardboard upon which his livelihood relies and is too cheap to maintain one of the only things that could save his livelihood. Let me guess. The place wasn't up to fire code in more ways than one. Hey, in Australia, not 100% on variation by state territory. Extinguishers must be maintained min. 6 monthly. You must also ensure adequate fire exit, minimum evac pathways. Amongst a bunch of other things. There's a separate technical discipline called, fire engineering, for a very good reason. Worked as a secretary for some schmuck and asked him where the pens were kept so I could put a few in my desk. His response, let me know when that one runs out and I'll get you another one. If he's refusing to buy light bulbs, we're teetering on the border between thrift and mental illness. Bizarre. Was he hoping you'd buy bulbs yourself out of your own pocket? If you wanted to really wreck his day, call a fire marshal. Aside from the expired fire extinguishers, the lack of egress lighting is a major hazard. Well done, Mr. Cratchit. That's cheap on a whole other level. Seems like your boss was just trying to shed some light on his frugality. But you made sure he saw the light. This is all just a wind-up. He literally wanted you to crank one out at work. That man, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.